Introduce yourself. Uh, Dan Rominski, Cleveland Storyteller. How did you become a Cleveland Storyteller? Uh, I started by accident, uh, did a story for the Gates Mills Library on the uh, Walter White estate. He was one of the founders of the White Motor Company and uh, they asked me to do it and I was going to do one story and I was going to retire and uh, all the other libraries had heard about the success and uh, instantly I was in the storytelling business. So many of you who I've already met uh, told me that you live in Wycliffe or live in Willoughby and uh, I think you'll be amazed at some of this uh, marvelous, marvelous history that is not, uh, not so obvious. I think our mission is to try to make Clevelanders more proud of Cleveland through its great history. Uh, every city has unique history, but I think Cleveland's is more unique than most cities. And uh, I'm finding Clevelanders are hungry to be proud about their city. Uh, I think each Clevelander has to be an ambassador to Cleveland. And this history somewhat arms you with that ability. I wrote a book uh, called Cleveland's Gilded Age, A Walk Down Millionaire's Row, and it, it dwells on uh, this marvelous history, in particular the, the grandeur of Millionaire's Row, uh, called by many the, the grandest, most beautiful street in all the world. I'm not a writer per se, so that was a painful experience. Uh, I loved it when it was all done. Uh, they're $20, uh, a portion of that goes to my charity. We work with the Willoughby Rotary buying iPads for children with autism. Chairs here with purpose as I'm hopefully going to sit down and, and tell you a wonderful story. What do you enjoy most as a storyteller? I enjoy uh, the audience's reaction. Uh, there's a hit TV series out there called Downton Abbey and really what I'm doing is, is Cleveland's version of Downton Abbey which is our Euclid uh, Avenue Millionaire's Row with all the grandeur that you find in Downton Abbey and I think uh, when I see the amazement on people's faces in terms of understanding and getting to know this history for the first time, uh, that's probably most satisfying to me.